Now, the weekend after the 4th of July is usually extra busy for those working at Pima Animal Care Center. Kaga 9's Blake Phillips takes us there to see how they're dealing with having extra animals. Yeah, busy weekend for sure here at PAC. Over 130 dogs and over 80 cats being turned in throughout the three-day period since the 4th of July. That's, of course, because of those fireworks that everybody loves to shoot on the 4th, but it does scare a lot of dogs and cats into running away. To the shelter's credit, though, they were fully staffed over the weekend, anticipating that surge, but they're also asking the public for help when they run into potential strays. Often the automatic reaction is, oh, I should bring them to the shelter. And while, of course, that's true if the pet is sick or injured or aggressive. What we're really asking people to do is if you find a healthy, friendly stray pet, a pet who almost certainly has a home, to really um, take the time to try to find that owner before bringing them here. And of course, every situation can be different. A dog could be friendly or aggressive, but PAC says if a dog is friendly, if you're able to figure that out and get a picture with them, definitely post it online on Facebook, next door, uh, your local Reddit page, whatever you can do to try to get the dog reunited. Here's a small stat for you from PAC. 63% of dogs are found within a mile from home, meaning it could lower their chances even more to get reunited with their family if you move them out of that community. But I do want to show you this resource that I have here online. Pet, uh Pack rather has a lost and found resource that they have that you're, they update throughout the day when they're open with pictures of uh, dogs that they have brought in that are rescues or strays or runaways, and they're uploading them with a description of where they were found as well as uh, how old or what kind of breed they are in that picture. So if you're looking to find your dog, this is definitely the first place that you can check out online. And if you see a picture that looks like your dog, give them a call or head down here to check it out. At the Pima Animal Care Center, I'm Blake Phillips, KGUN 9.